With Creo Elements Direct Modeling 20.5, you can now create multilingual drawings using the annotation module. This allows you to better communicate drawing-centric information within a multinational ecosystem. Go to File Settings Multilanguage to enable users to easily create and work with multilingual drawings. Once you enable the option called Multilanguage Settings, you get access to three new commands. The first command opens the multilanguage table that contains predefined text blocks and their translation into one or multiple languages. The second command offers to switch primary and secondary languages of the current drawing. And the third command allows you to visualize multilanguage definitions in the drawing. A first check shows that the demo drawing does not contain any multilanguage elements yet. You can now add multi-language text blocks from the table into the text fields and fixed text fields that support the multi-language definition. Multi-language entries are for example supported for fixed text fields in dimension properties. Select the fixed text field that you want to fill with a multi-language text block. Then invoke the multi-language table command to pick a row in the table. As usual, the getText command takes the selected table row and fills the text block with a hidden reference to the index of the selected row and the corresponding translation text blocks for the active primary and secondary languages. Fixed text entries belonging to geometric tolerances are also supported. You can use the search capabilities in the multi-language table to quickly find the text block of interest from the entire list. In addition, text notes can be filled with a multi-language text block. This example also illustrates how comprehensive tables can be structured with context and category information, which can then be filtered down when working with a multi-language table. The Highlight Multilanguage Elements tool now shows that we have converted all annotations to multilanguage elements except the surface finish symbol. For symbols, you can for example use multilanguage text blocks to fill out the Process B information field. Click on the field label so that the input field turns yellow. Invoke the multilanguage table and select the right entry. The search example shows that the search is done over all languages at the same time. You can change primary and secondary languages on the fly using the command Edit Language Settings. When you set the secondary language to none, the drawing will still maintain its multilanguage information but only show the primary language. You can turn on the display of a second language for it at any point in time. There are several formatting options available for multi-language text blocks. You can choose whether primary and secondary language text should be displayed in a single line or in multiple lines. In the first case, they are then separated by a user-definable separation character. In the latter case, they are arranged in separate lines. Symbols only support the single line format. For the multi line format, you can additionally also configure the color, font size, and even font of the text in secondary language. This helps to provide a better visual understanding of the illustrated drawing text. Use Creo Elements Direct Modeling 20.5 to easily create multilingual drawings for global teams and consumers leveraging a centrally managed translation table for translation consistency.